breaking news, Nigerians. Drama as Rivers lawmakers who defected to APC told they have lost their seat. <laughs> Details will shock you. This is interesting. I think Nigerian politicians have to learn in the hard way, if at all we, there is any justice in this country. But here we are now. Nothing like justice. If not, these people, they're supposed to learn in a very hard way. They are toiling with Nigerians. These people are just, you know, just working for their own selfish interest. Anywhere when they sweet and dead then they work out they go. You understand? They don't even care about the masses. Every politician in Nigeria, they get this mindset. Say, if you know they happen for a year, I could jump enter the other pe pe political party. That is why the, the, the country is not seeing the light of the day. Nigeria is being ruled by the same set of people. They just they do us like this. Circle. You understand? What is happening in River State is a very big shame. It's a very big shame. It's a pity all these things are going on. Are we actually in a democratic uh, government? Because Nigeria, Nigeria has lost it. You understand? Those that is benefiting from, from this heart and all that, they won't see it as anything because they are beneficiaries. You understand? The way our politicians are behaving, most, these, these politicians, most of them, their manner, their characters, honestly speaking, is very shameful. Kalu Kalu Ago, a lawyer, has declared that the 27 reverse lawmakers who exited the, exist, uh, exited the PDP to join the APC have lost their seats in parliament, parliament. Amber J reported that Kalu said that an elected official can only defect from his party to another during its term if there is a leadership struggle within the party. Barrister Kalu stated that the PDP is conducting its affairs without any fashion anywhere in the country. Amber J, journalist, Rwanda, Ade Adola Yusuf, has over six years' experience okay, on these politics in Nigeria. A lawyer, Kalo, has said the, 20, the 27 lawmakers from River State who recently left the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in River State has lost their seat in Parliament. In an interview on Arise News, Tuesday, December 12th, he noted that the law states that an elected official can only defect from his party to another during the course of his term if there is a leadership struggle within the party. The 27 affected constituencies, their seats are already vacant going by the provision of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as altered. Once you defect from the political party from which you won election to another political party before the expiration of the house upon which you were elected, that you automatically lost that seat. Earlier, Amber J reported that about 27 members of the River State House of Assembly who are said to be loyal to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Yeltsin Wiki, reportedly defected to the APC. The lawmakers dumped the PDP for the APC on Monday, December 11, during the sitting of the House. Amber J also reported that the National Democratic Congress, NDC, issued a 14-day ultimatum to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to organize by elections for the 27 vacant constituencies in the River State House of Assembly during a press conference held on Tuesday, December 12th, Daniel Okwa. The group's convener expressed concern 
about the implications of the recent events in rivers for democracy in the country. It's a very big shame. I don't talk before. Now shame be this. They just they jump from one party to another. But INEC lacks the power to conduct another constituency election in River State. It's only court of law that can decide on the matter or if the law makes we are record to their various constituency, even with that, two or three of the registered voters would be needed. INEC can conduct another election only if the lawmakers dies or resigning. I pity those lawmakers that joined Wiki in this in his in in his nonsense polit politicking. Nigeria is in a mess. Unsatisfied politicians jumping from pillar to post. Okay, River State's Attorney General should seek the pronouncement from the court to authenticate this constitutional position fast. Well, I will shock you that there is nothing like constitution in Nigeria. He doesn't go. Now, so the matter will just go like that. You understand? Now, so the matter will just go like that. Now, don't forget the issue of... Uh, uh, the former governor of Ebony State, Dave Omai. It happens at the end of the day, what happened? He jumped from <laughs> PDP to APC. Why he was still a governor? He was elected in PDP. Why he was serving as a governor in the PDP party? He jumped to APC. PDP took him to court. At the end of the day, what happened? Did he not con continue in his tenor? Conceive Oh, in, in fact, there is nothing like law in this country. The law of this country is not for, you know, it's not for these people, only for the poor Nigerians. It's a pity. It's a pity. APC is gradually turning Nigeria to something else. Uh -huh. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section if you're just joining us. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you.